With the Year of the Dragon event going on right now, you may be wondering what's the easiest way to get the right encounters and get 50 red envelopes as fast as possible. Well today I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to get through it a bit quicker. First, the only encounters that will count are the ones where you either save a PK or a survivor. These will range from a person being attacked by a single zombie, a person stuck in a cage hanging from a street light, or a person being held hostage by a group of renegades. The last one is the one you'll see the most often. You can find these anywhere on the map, but just running around will not get them to pop up very often. There are several places you can go, but one of the best spots I've seen is a very common spot for events, Killian safe house. This is where it is on the map and it's very close to the bazaar and you actually go here during the prologue with Hakon. All you need to do is wait. Sometimes they'll pop up instantly and you'll get several back to back, but other times you have to wait two to three real time minutes for another encounter to appear. I tend to get one to appear here very frequently though. Also make sure to do this during the day as the encounters don't seem to pop up at night and if they do they disappear when a chase starts. Hey everybody, Editor Respawn here. There's an additional encounter with the PK being burned at the stake that counts for the event as well. Also, I found that near Cory End, I will sometimes get two red envelopes instead of one without taking out the person. Lastly, sometimes a hag encounter will spawn in the same location as a rescue, so you'll have to deal with both to rescue the hostage. Now, back to the video. Now, once you rescue the person from whichever scenario I mentioned above, do not claim the reward from them. This is because you will only get one red envelope. Instead, take them out and loot their body to get two or more red envelopes. You need to wait until the reward icon shows up on them before doing this. From my testing, it seems that the exploding throwing knife is the best for this. I've heard there are other ways, but I could just never get them to work properly. Take the knife and throw it at the person's feet and back away before it explodes. It'll take two to three knives to take them down, but just make sure to wait until they're no longer reacting to you before throwing another one. This is because if they are noticing you, then they will not take damage from you at all. A lot of viral will show up but this can help get the person distracted as well. Once they're down and not getting back up, loot their body for multiple red envelopes. Now just head back to Killian's safe house and you'll either just have to wait a couple of minutes or you may see one pop up instantly. Now that's the normal way to do this but let me show you something a bit faster. Make sure to complete the participation goal of one red envelope collected. You'll then receive a red envelope in your stash. Once you have that, quit and go to the main menu. You're going to use the rollback feature to claim that over and over again. But before you do that, I highly recommend using a different save from your main save if it's been a while since your last story checkpoint. Make sure to check how much time you're losing before you go through the rollback so you don't lose a ton of time and items. Also, if you just complete a main story mission or a main bloody ties mission, then you can do this on your main save as well. Once you complete the rollback, just go into your stash extra tab and redeem the red envelope. Go back to the main menu, roll back that save again, and repeat the process until you reach the goal of 50. Yes, this way is kind of boring, but if you don't want to do the encounters, this version will still get you to the goal faster than what I talked about before. Side note, you cannot drop the red envelope, so duplicating them is not an option. What are some of the places you found to be good encounter spots? Let me know in the comments below. For more Dying Light content, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. And if you want to see other games like Pal World, then check out my second YouTube, RG reimagined linked in the description below thanks for watching see you next time